Hola everybody, I just signed up for TikTok shop. It took me like 10 tries to try to get it. I don't know why, it, they kept denying it. But it was finally approved. I'm actually excited about selling on TikTok shop. I only decided to do this because it's been slow. Um, Nothing has come through on my website. Nothing has come through on Etsy. So I wanna go ahead and list my cups on TikTok shop. So now that it was approved, I already registered my business. I added my tax info, I set up shipping, I connected my shop to TikTok account, but now I have to add my first product. And I guess we'll do that together. How do you want to add products? Sync with your online store, upload manually, bulk upload, add via Seller Center app. Let's see if it has Wix. It does have Wix, yay! I should probably wear my glasses, my eyes are bothering me. Sync products with one click. Easily create product listings, auto sync, oh yeah. I'm gonna install this. All right, so I found something that might help me. Why is it so dark? So you know what I'm starting to realize? That Shopify might be the way to go because everything is Shopify. And I'm stuck with Wix until 2025 because I paid until 2025. And apparently you can't cancel it because they don't give you refunds. They only give you refunds within 14 days. Let me get my verification. I'm going through all this. I don't even know if I have to pay for this or not. Oh no, I have to pay for it. So I have a free trial for seven days. And then after seven days, $18 a month. Oh, you know what? Let's give it a week. Let's see how it goes. This is the app that's supposed to sync all of my products. It's the next day. I woke up to an email saying that my TikTok shop was deactivated because of 48 violations. Hey guys, it is much, much later. I wasn't going to continue this video. I wasn't even going to record today because everything seems to be going wrong. So I'm a little stressed out about that. Um, but I did get an order yesterday. My niece's mom also placed an order. So technically it's two orders. It has been so slow over here. I've been on a struggle bus. I, I don't know about you guys, but it has been so slow and so discouraging. I don't even have content to film for social media. I could probably make content, but I just haven't felt motivated enough. It's been devastating over here. But we're not gonna let that stop us. Like I mentioned earlier, I have that tie-dye cake topper to make. I started making the ornament, because this is one of the ornaments that she ordered. I just needed to grab some ribbon for it. I love the way that this came out. Look at how pretty. I don't know if you guys can see, but the Christmas part has lights. It has like Christmas lights on it. And I actually designed that. Christmas came just like the word, but I designed each little light on the Christmas. And in the back, it just has a personalization. So I'm definitely gonna take pictures of this ornament. I want to promote them and I wanna add them to my website because I definitely want to make more. I love how they came out. These are the first glitter ornaments that I've made. I had so much fun making them. Let me make some space in my memory card and then I'm gonna come back and talk to you real quick because I wanna talk a little bit about TikTok shop. At the beginning of the video, you guys saw me trying to set up my TikTok shop and then it was deactivated. I initially thought that it was because because they couldn't verify my information. They thought that my business was fake for some reason. I don't 100% know the reason why. They didn't tell me why. They gave like a general message of what it could be. After thinking about it for some time and appealing their decision multiple times, sending all my information, sending all my business stuff, they still denied it. And I have come to a conclusion that it's because I had copyright stuff in my shop. Friendsgiving cupcake toppers. I didn't put anything about friends. I just put Friendsgiving. I don't know if Friendsgiving is copyrighted, but the image was the turkey from Friends. It could also be the Mañana Será Bonito, which is the Carol G one. And then I had Best Buds. And apparently Best Buds is copyrighted. My husband told me that Snoop Dogg copyrighted Best Buds. But when I googled it, it didn't say anything about Snoop. I saw other things, um, like other licenses. So those are the three things. Let me see, anything else that I had on there? No. I, for a very long time, have stayed away from copyright. Because I didn't want to get sued, I didn't want to get in trouble. I'm going to be real with you guys right now, I'm going to be honest. I want to say over the last couple months, I started implementing copyrighted stuff, like Bluey, Carol G, Drake. And the reason why I did that is because I 
but salty like i see everybody around me not around me but like you know on social media all the small businesses on tiktok instagram youtube everything they all freaking use copyrighted shit i see Lilo and stitch winnie the pooh dolly parton a whole bunch of copyrighted images that i know for a fact they did not get the license for so yeah i was salty because i'm like they're selling hundreds and hundreds of things and they were being so successful why can't i they're doing it so why not me so that's why i did it that is not the way to go i steered away from something i told myself i would never do that's cheating that's using somebody else's work whether you like it or not that's using somebody else's work a lot of these businesses they claim that oh you know i bought it off of etsy or I bought it off of this website they don't have the license so you don't have the license unless you get it directly from the company that made these things that made these characters these logos all that stuff then no you don't have the right to use them so i am gonna go back to my true ways <laughs> and i'm not gonna have copyrighted stuff i'm glad that tiktok shop closed my shop because it like pushed me to realize no just because everybody else is doing it and because they're going out about it the wrong way and they're cheating and they're doing all this you shouldn't so i'm gonna go back to not selling copyright stuff that's the right thing to do that's what i stood by that's what my business stood by we're gonna do things the right way i do have my cups that i've made a whole bunch of like the bluey ones the carol g ones the halloween ones the best buds one i'm gonna try to sell those i have a market coming up this saturday so i'm gonna try to sell those because i don't want them to go to waste but yeah that's my little talk that's what i wanted to say i wanted to give you the real reason behind why tiktok closed my shop if you are watching this if you're listening to this try your best to stay away from copyright don't be like me and be like, oh, everybody else is doing it. I'm going to do it. I'm not going to get in trouble. Everything's going to be fine. Just keep on pushing your own designs. Keep on pushing your own stuff and you'll be successful. I'm sure that we will. We, we, we got this. We have to be because there is no other way. I found this at Walmart. It's a little light box. It's really small. I think it's nine by nine by eight. But I got it because I want to take pictures of my ornaments in it and then maybe also of the cups and of the motel keychains. Hopefully it's good. It was on clearance for 10 bucks, but the box was really beat up. So I'm hoping it still works. I got another order in. It's for football cupcake toppers. <gasps> Yay, it's my first order for the football cupcake toppers. I haven't sold them at all. I finished setting up the light box. I honestly think it looks really nice. For 10 bucks, I'm very pleased. I'm very surprised. It does come with these backdrops. It has six different colors, I believe. I don't like the material. I don't think it'll look nice in pictures. It comes with the USB and the cables attach to the LED strips that are underneath here. I just plugged it into my computer. The lighting is really, really nice. That looks good. I mean, you can see the reflection of the lights, but that's with everything, you know? Even if I use a ring light, it's the same. If I had like a little stand, that would look great like this. I'm really happy with this purchase. It's really small. Let me try a glass cup really quickly. I feel like it doesn't fit my cups because my cups are bigger than the average cups. Everybody does the 16 ounce. Mine are bigger. Mine are the 20 ounce. Definitely doesn't fit my humongous cups, but it's good for my ornaments and my cupcake toppers. Perfect for my keychains. And then even like this. I'm really, really pleased with my $10 mini light box here. I ended up not finishing up the orders yesterday. I just did not have time. We have no flooring right now. Not only in the hallway, but into my daughter's room, my son's room, linen closet. It's been hectic, but I do need to get these orders done. I spoke about how I had none, and thankfully, I got three yesterday. So I have to work on those. I have to add something to the ornament. I also have to work on my TikTok shop because I received an email yesterday saying that it was approved. And them approving it this time around just solidifies the fact that I was right about the copyright because I appealed it twice with the same documents, same information, same everything. And then the third time around, I appealed it with same documents, same information. But in the end, I wrote, please give me another chance. I will delete all of the copyrighted stuff or things that 
go against TikTok shop policies. And this time they approved it. So it just gave me the answer that that's the reason why they closed my shop down. I added one thing to TikTok shop, which is this ornament. I also have this on my website. I have my Santa cam ornaments that I wanted to also upload or have on TikTok shop. I have been researching since yesterday if Santa or Santa cam or any of that stuff, if any of that was copyrighted or trademarked. It seems as if it's not. There have been some Santa cam trademarks in the past. I think 2008, 2011, maybe 2015. None of those seem to be active. So I think I'm okay. I was doubting myself so much because, you know, obviously I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to get the thing canceled again. But I think we are in the clear for Santa, the word Santa, the Santa camp ornament. And I think I'm going to be able to put this cup. I'm going to work on getting those in my TikTok shop now, as well as posting them on my website. And then I have a video to promote that on TikTok. I'm gonna put it on Instagram, but first I wanna make sure that I have everything listed. I'm still prepping orders. I have the smiley face cupcake toppers that I'm working on. I have a tie-dye order that I'm working on as well. And then I have the football cupcake toppers that I have already cut. That was from the last market that I did, so I didn't have to do anything with that. I just have to package that up. That's the update on how the orders are going. I got all my orders completed yesterday. I'm so happy about that because I was able to ship everything out. I got another order for a cake topper last night and I was going to work on it now, but it doesn't have to go out till Monday. I might work on it today. We'll see how far along I get with everything else because um, I am prepping for the market, which is on Saturday. And when I say prepping, I just mean a couple things. I'm doing some keychains. You guys will see that in next week's video. I'm filming everything. I also need to make two signs because I'm changing up what I'm taking. Very big signs so that it's clear what I'm selling. So just a little bit of market prep, not a lot. I feel like I'm in a good place to end the video. I got all the orders done that I mentioned yesterday. I spoke about TikTok shop. I have three listings in my TikTok shop. Everything's going good. I feel accomplished even though it has been a hectic week in our family. We have been living in shambles, but it's okay. I also need to make time today, lots of time, to clean the house. The parts that I can get to because not everything can be put back. We still have no flooring in our hallway. I have the market coming up on Saturday and Saturday is also a late Friendsgiving that we're having at my best friend's house. So it's just a lot going on. I have to like manage my time very well. I'm gonna end this video here because I am going to continue my market video so that way you guys can see that next week. I haven't posted a video since the day before thanksgiving you guys already know the deal if you have made it this far then let's do an emoji i'm just trying to think of what emoji because i'm like i do this in every video and i'm running out of emojis let's do christmas emojis so if you made it this far either a snowman if you don't celebrate christmas or a christmas emoji but yeah thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for your support and i will definitely talk to you guys next week with my third market vlog mm -hmm.